Check out my new online store if you want to buy prints, posters, shirts, and more. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be drawing Deshaun Watson from the Houston Texans. But not just any old pose, this is uh, the uh, event where Desha Deshaun Watson got kicked in the eyeball and then managed to recover and throw a touchdown pass before eventually collapsing to the ground and holding his eye. So this, uh, this part is right before he, uh, right after he gets kicked in the eye and right before he throws the ball so his eye is all swollen up. And uh, I thought it was a pretty cool shot. Someone asked me to do a, a shot, a drawing of Deshaun Watson. So I figured this would be about the coolest pose you could find. But uh, as you watch me draw this, you know, one thing that I really tried to focus on uh, in this drawing, and one thing that uh, is a tip uh, if, you're, if you're an artist out there uh, to help your drawings is to focus on having the right proportions. Um, oftentimes people, they, uh, they kind of skip the stage of having the right proportions and they just go straight to uh, rendering the image, you know, what colors they're gonna use, what sort of lighting they're gonna have. Um, especially, you know, oftentimes people will just do very highly realistic drawings with like colored pencils. And, uh, you know, they'll just kind of breeze through the proportions phase and they'll really put a lot of effort into the rendering phase. But um, I would say that's a mistake, you know, just in this drawing specifically, I really tried to focus on having the right proportions and really try to concentrate on that. And I think it really turned out really well, you know, the, the length of the arms and the distance of everything from, uh, you know, where it's supposed to be. I feel like I really got the proportions down on this one as compared to some of my other drawings that I've done. Um, and yeah, I would say that if you want your artwork to look professional or to look nice, really, really nail down your proportions and practice your getting proportions right because that's kind of the most important thing. You know, there's lots of different rendering styles that look good, whether you're doing, you know, a comic book style like this or a photorealistic style or, you know, a cartoonish style, you know, even or, or maybe like a flat color style, like a cell shading style, you know, even within comic book style, there's tons of different variations and, and ways to render that would look different, whether you're using a lot of shadows, very minimal shadows, you know, thick outlines, thin outlines. But, you know, the number one thing that's gonna make all of those look good is having the right proportions. If your proportions are all messed up, it doesn't matter how nice your rendering is, it's gonna look, you know, like some, it's gonna just gonna look not professional, like someone who's learning in middle school or high school made it, you know? I've seen plenty of drawings where it was, you know, photorealistic style, and the person did an excellent job of copying, um, you know, the colors and the highlights and the shadows perfectly. But because the proportions were out of whack, the drawing just looks, uh, you know, looks very unprofessional. So, you know, if you're an artist out there, the number one thing that you should really try to nail down and concentrate is getting your proportions right. You know, having your, your rendering style, there's lots of cool rendering styles out there. Work on that get good at that but the number one thing you need to nail down is getting proportions right and focus on that so i hope that tip helps and enjoy the rest of the video